we've got um, single family houses that are more expensive than than a unit because right. of the va because of the income that's right. come in. Right. Can you talk a little bit about that? Because I know that I, we've seen it um, um, a lot over in North Oakland and Emeryville yeah, right yeah. now, where single family houses are selling for more yeah. than four four units. Yeah, yeah, that, that's a good point, and, and you see that a lot in a hot neighborhood like North Oakland or Lake Merritt, obviously in San Francisco, San Jose, and San some Jose. of those areas. And a lot of it has to do with because once you get into multiple unit property, anybody who's going to buy that is, is going to be concerned with the income. They're going to be focused on what the income is. And anyone who buys a home, and that, you know, there's different reasons to buy a home, um, but primarily when you buy a home, you, you're worried about or you're concerned about um, the functional utility. In other words, what, you know, living in that Can home, I use it? Can, how do you use it? What's where, what's the shopping down the street? What's the transportation down the street? So therefore, it's going to intrinsically have a higher value than, let's say, a fourplex. Because at a fourplex, th those things matter. But what really, really matters is the income that it generates. The now, one, once you go five plus as in commercial, that's the primary. But but still, in a four unit building, even if you move into one of the units. You got to be aware of what's happening with the other units because now that's going to be your stream of income and you're also going to be responsible for it. Right. So therefore, a house is probably, in a, especially in a great neighborhood, is going to always sell on a per square foot basis more than a, a duplex or fourplex or certainly a, a five plus unit um, commercial multifamily right. property.